Hello, it's Aaron, CEO of Ship Hero here. I'm gonna walk you through what we're up to. So as a reminder, we're taking a 150,000 square foot warehouse and turning it, um, well, empty building and turning it into an e-commerce warehouse. Um, so this is the second video. First video we showed kind of how we were dealing with the electrical and where that stuff was gonna go. Um, let me show you the progress we've made so far. Okay, so first thing, shelves. So uh, last time there was no shelves. So now we've got some shelves. Um, they're 54 inch aisles. Uh, we have 18 inch rolling carts. These will have five. We just, um, they came before. We got one more coming. So these, um, I don't know if you can see or not, but they pass each other with plenty of room. Um, there's gonna be totes on here. Um, those will be here. I'll show in the next video all the picking and how we deal with the toads and how, how all that works. Uh, but I wanted to show you first is how we set up the locations. So, um, big building, you don't want to have to change locations. So, got a plan. So the way we're doing it is, let me show you an example one. So this is location 34021-D. The arrow is just showing that it's above. I'll show you why we have that in a minute. So where's 34 come from? So um, we're in the fourth section between the poles. So the first is 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 19 to, uh, 20 to 29, and then we're in the 30s. So this aisle, first aisle is 30 on both sides. So we count the aisles. Um, so this here, is aisle 14. So it's not like the shelf is 14, it's the whole aisles 34. And what we do is you'll see that this is um, 21 on this side, they're not done yet, but it's gonna be 22. So as we're picking, we grab 21, then we grab from 22, and we grab from 23, 24 as we go. So we're picking from both sides. Um, we're able to do that because we're keeping this narrow 54 inch aisle. Um, so that was the plan there. Um, this 021, 023, that's because we're skipping, um, because it's odds and evens. Uh, odds always on the left, evens always on the right. The next section is going to start at 34041, 061, 081. Keep going back, we have enough um, to get to the back of the building. Um, now we also want to have which shelf it's on, so you know which one to get it from. So the bottom is A, second is B. So now you can see those arrows, right? So the arrow is just telling you A is the one below, B is the one above. We could have put the A's on the floor, picked it up, just makes it a little less, um, a little easier, a little more visible, less uh, spending. Um, go up to E. Um, if we had something that was um, just that little, if we had higher shelves, um, we'd keep going up from there. Now, um, in this case, we're picking into these, um, we're picking from these little 12 by 12, um, bins which are on both sides is because this one is a narrow aisle most of them are 24 inch aisles so they'll have 24 inch bins so those are our standard bins are, are 24 inch which I'll show you next time these 12s are for for small products um, your, your prime picking zone is right here right right at the front um, and right at the middle so these three rows are your prime picking spots so um, we'll, we're gonna optimize those for our fast movers on top you'll notice we don't put anything that's because um, we want the ability to put the overstock of the fast movers right up there uh, right above um, and those can take up more room so um, so we leave that more freeform gives us a little bit more flexibility uh, let me show you the station so remember last time we were showing the electrical drops on um, how it's gonna work well now it's here so well the electrical drops aren't here but the stations are here so um, this is a single packing station there's four in each section. Um, this here is where the totes go. So after we pick the totes on that cart, um, picker comes, fills all this up, right? Just slides, slides them all on here. Um, packer has stands in the middle right here. Computer, all that stuff will get set up once the electric's in. Uh, reaches to the right to grab a tote, left, is going to be all the packing material. So um, poly bags, um, boxes. So it's only three shelves here to have room for the packing material, five here for the totes because the totes are only, I believe, eight inches high. Um, we'll also hook some stuff here magnetically. Um, I'll let you see that when it's all done. And 
we alternate. So the next person has packing on their right, totes on their left. It's wider shelf for the totes. It's four feet instead of two. So um, every section is shared uh, so that um, it's just more efficient. Boxes are big. There's no reason why everyone needs their own. Um, you just share because you a huge four foot shelf to, to store the packing through. So that's the four and we're going to keep duplicating that throughout um, you know, as we go further down the building. Um, we got some product in, so just a little bit, a couple, a uh, few pallets came in. Um, we don't have our electrical drop, so we don't have all our stations set up for receiving, but I'm going to try to show you how we do receiving, just give you a little bit of an idea of how that process works. So, um, product comes in, um, it's got a shipping label, the label's got a shipping plan and a barcode that we scan. Uh, tells us what's in here. So this is really small. It's one box. Typically, shipping plans are more like that, where it's you know nine skids or whatever. Um, so we receive it on the computer to start. So we would go scan that, get uh, that pulled up, which is this one. Um, we then um, start to receive it. So grab an item. Scan said item. Um, keep scanning to count them. Um, so I got scan two. I got a whole box, but I'm not gonna make you all watch. Let me scan the whole box, and typically, again, there's gonna be lots of different items. I'm just trying to give you the short version. Um, so we put them on the cart. You grab my trusted iPad here. One second. Okay, I got my scanner. You suck mobile scanners. I got my iPad. Um, I got my cart that's got typically fully loaded with my product um just got two for now um and i'm gonna put it away so um the system will tell me where it goes if it's right there um and that that helps me um kind of optimize my walk uh, so i'm being efficient with my put away so this is how we get the product up on the shelves uh quickly all right so uh, let me see if I can get the iPad here. Okay, so I got my put away list on the iPad. Again, it's just um, one SKU, two units to make my life easy. Um, it's telling me what location to put it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it away. Scan that location now. Put two away and um, that's it I would just go ahead grab these two items try actually put them in there and go ahead start putting away the next one